Pallidus Orcanus. Alrighty guys, Vio here with a Call of Duty gameplay commentary, and this is going to be the first commentary that's going to be played on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, basically the channel plans uh, for this channel are going to be a lot of FIFA, a lot of Call of Duty, some Battlefield, some Minecraft, and maybe later on some PC gameplay with, you know, The Hidden or something like that. When we get a few more people in to, you know, make those games a little more fun. But, uh, basically this gameplay was, uh, I was going in my, I was just playing with Goose and playing with a couple other mates. And I was just going to try and get dogs with every gun. So, I did all the SMGs and I was up to the assault rifles and I got to the M8. And the game before the one you're watching right now was on Downhill. I think it's called Downhill. It's a real snow map. And it's, B's a real bitch. There's a, a, right in the middle with the gondolas and the rock and all that. Really, really annoying to try and take. And the other team was just using a hell of a lot of semi-automatic snipers. So it made B really hard to get. It made score streaks hard to get. So that, I, that was like one of the game. Most of the SMGs and ARs I got on the first try. Because dogs, when you play objective, really aren't that hard. Uh, just get on get on a flag, get a cap kills 200, plus the cap 200, like it's 400 points, it's UAV right there pretty much, so play objective, you'll get your points, you'll get your score streaks, it's the best way to best way to get streaks in my opinion, that's how it works for me. But um, yeah, so I failed on the failed on the snow map, and then we moved to this map, and I was really, really annoyed at the, you know, at the last game with all the snipers and that, so I decided, this was the same lobby, so I decided, you know, screw the snipers, I'm just going to try and go beast on them, ended up going pretty big. Didn't get dogs in the first one, and I think I got three sets of dogs in this game, which for me, you know, is half decent. It's probably not the best gameplay you'll see out there, but, you know, it, it's decent for me, so... Um, yeah, so that's that's what this gameplay is all about. Pretty much Road the Dogs. I was thinking about putting it on the channel, but then, yeah, not really worth putting on just a Road the Dogs. Um, what... Yeah, so FIFA, COD, Battlefield on this channel, Minecraft... Uh, me and Goosey have just tried out Minecraft tonight... Uh, as I'm recording this, as this is going out, so we've we've played a couple of couple of hours in it, and we'll probably start recording some tomorrow or the next day, just to see how it'll go as a series. What we're and we'll talk a little bit more with each other about what we want to do with it as a series. So some exciting stuff ahead for that, because Minecraft is really fun. But the only downside with the Xbox Minecraft is everything. It shows you, say you go into a crafting table and stuff like that. It shows you how to make everything. It has a, an example right like at the bottom left of the table. How to make like uh, a wooden pickaxe. So say like, and it, and it shows you how like two wooden sticks and the three wooden. And so it shows you how to make it and everything. So it takes a little bit of the fun out of the, like the PC guys have to sort of figure it out. So it takes a little bit of the fun out of it. But it's still a lot of fun to try out. So if you've never tried out Minecraft, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Pretty cheap. I think it's like 1600 Microsoft points or something like that. Uh, so it's definitely worth trying out. And uh, another thing I want to talk about is the next-gen consoles. Now, I'm going to personally get an Xbox One, just because it it works for me. Most of my mates will be on Xbox and stuff like that. Um, they nearly lost a lot of people with the whole always online, and then they probably did lose a lot. Well, they probably lost a few people when they said that. Then half of the people that they lost, they kept losing that stayed lost when they, you know, came back and rebutted that and said, nah, we won't worry about that. Because realistically, that that was never going to work with, you know, people's connections and stuff like that. So, they lost a lot of people just by talking about this. So, hopefully, my mates, I'm pretty sure my mates are sticking with the Xbox One, so that's what I'll play, that's what I'll get. So, hopefully the Xbox is, is going to be alright, like... A lot of the, one of the big arguments that a lot of people make, and mainly the PlayStation guys make, is... They want a, a gaming station. They don't want a friggin' entertainment system. But the Xbox is a is a gaming station plus an entertainment system. It's not like it's slacking on the on the gaming thing. It's just added more. Like maybe it misses out a few features or something. It still plays your games more like as good as anyone would ever need them to to be played. So I don't know why everyone's complaining about that. But you know, people do what they want to do. So uh, I think. A lot more people will be on PlayStation, that's my prediction, this year than compared to the last lot of consoles. That's that's just my pick, but you never know. Um, I've got a couple of uh, some hopes and dreams for, for the uh, for the next-gen consoles and for the game. So, like, for FIFA 14, I really hope, and it's actually been confirmed, that Ultimate Team's got the single matches back, so you don't have to go through seasons. You can actually just play a single match and... Yeah, that's that's one thing that FIFA uh, FIFA 12 had that was really good. 
obviously there was people that tried to rot it and put like put like one bronze player in the front three in the mid and in the back just to take their overall rating down and stuff like that but you know you could sort of figure that out you get around it and it's it's still better than seasons seasons you have to go up and down you're definitely matched against people which is good to improve your skill but it's if you want to get gameplays and stuff you want to play some some worse players you want to play some better players you want to play a lot of you know higher and lower range skill players so it's it's just better to have single players. They still got seasons in there, I believe. It's just single matches are back, so it's, it's a good thing. And I really hope that for the career mode they improve it. You know, they always do every year, so I'm I don't see them not improving it in some way. Like the manager career mode, one thing that I've said uh, that they've really really gone well out for is in the manager career mode in FIFA 13. You can do like player plush cash deals and stuff like that. Just little things like that that they have improved in previous years that I really think they will improve this year. Like, FIFA 14... FIFA's been a really, really good franchise. I don't think they'll ever go backwards. I think it's just going to get bigger and better. A lot of people are playing it these days, which is really good. And, yeah, so I'm going to be burning out a lot of silver squads. I like building silver squads and using players that not a lot of people really know about. So, that's what I like doing in FIFA 13. I haven't done any on this channel yet. I will. Uh, I'm pretty much going to... Until FIFA 14, I'm going to have a few squad builders, but pretty much everything's been done by now that it doesn't really matter. You don't have... There's not much interest in it. I don't really have the motivation to... Like, I build some random, some hybrids. I really love building hybrid squads and stuff like that, but pretty much a lot of the stuff has been done. There's not a lot of players that people don't know about. Like, every so often, like, a few... A couple of months ago, I sort of learned about Malapa, the German silver striker, so... I was pretty, a little bit late on that, but that's just... Every so often you'll learn about this player that everyone else knows about. But pretty much everything's already been done. So I'll just stick with the career mode for now, the Bolton career mode. If you've never seen that, it's in the, it's on the channel already, so go check that out. And uh, my hopes for COD Ghosts is that they support competitive. Now, basically I've been getting into a lot of competitive in, uh, in Black Ops 2, and it's been really good. Like, League Play is the, probably the best... Uh, the best thing that's been added to a Call of Duty in a long, long time. Like, Black Ops 2, every year everyone says it's the worst Black Ops or whatever. But, honestly, I think Black Ops 2 is the best Black Ops I've... The, the, the best Call of Duty that's been put out. Uh, the guns are pr pretty much the most balanced. Uh, and if they're not, uh, Treyarch does a fairly good job of nerfing them or buffing them wherever they need to be. There's still a few that are out there or whatnot, but... If you're in the competitive scene, you know that the fails overpower and the Cap 40 are, so they got taken out, so... People, you know, get around that in their own ways. And, uh, yeah, so I hope there, I hope there's competitive support for Call of Duty Ghosts. I hope there's a League Play variant, their own idea. I'm sure they'll change it up uh, in their own Infinity Ward way. But I hope there's a League Play in there in some way that you can play competitive, you can do all that sort of stuff. And I hope there's land lobbies, so you can set up your own matches and stuff like that. You can still play competitive. As long as they have competitive... It should be fine. Otherwise, I'll probably go over to Battlefield, which I think Goosey's told me that Battlefield 4 is going to be a lot more geared towards competitive, which is good because um, that's what I'm starting to get into. I'm going to try and start getting to getting into some Battlefield 3 competitive just to get my name out there on ESGN and stuff like that. And that's, yeah, so it's like Squad Rush and stuff like that. It really does look good. So watching Goosey in that play, it looks like, like a nice 4v4 variant. It just looks like a lot of fun. So that's probably what I'll start doing. I'll probably put some of that up on the channel as well. So you've got FIFA coming out, the Bolton Manager career mode. Uh, Call of Duty, I'll just have random gameplays where I'll just talk to you guys like this. Uh, Battlefield 3, just some random. I don't know a lot about Battlefield. I'm still learning it, so it'll probably be some terrible gameplay or something like that. But it'll be good for me because I don't know what's good, what's bad in Battlefield. I haven't really played it that much. So for me, I think it'll be like, if I think it's a good thing, you think it's crap, and that's your choice. It doesn't really matter too much. And then the Minecraft thing I'm really excited about. It's going to be so much fun just to play a different game. And then maybe we'll do some like trials or something like that later on. Just to change it up. So that's pretty much my plans. My hopes for the future consoles. My hopes for future games. The plans for this channel. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, and uh, one thing. This channel is never going to be, you know, I'm not ever going to ask for likes or anything like that. So I don't have to worry about that. Just do whatever you want to do. So I've been VO and peace.